Hi, uh, Namaste. In this edition, I'm going to talk about the uh, Montreal Protocol and uh, the uh, HFC page out. Now, if you are being asked what is the most successful treaty, most successful treaty or the protocol which had been agreed upon and and the promises were being fulfilled by the world leaders for the common future, for the common future. And certainly, yes, uh, the name of Montreal Protocol would reflect Montreal Protocol, right? Montreal Protocol, let me give you some brief. I was agreed upon in 19, 19, 1987, 1987 that the ozone depleting substances, ODLs, and these ozone depleting substances were chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, and HCFCs, hydrochlorofluorocarbons. These are the compounds, right? Now, one leader agreed to phase out these these uh, components to protect the ozone, right? And the, uh, the, the uh, negative impact of ozone on health are being uh, already known. Fine, we could protect the ozone as of now, but the another, the biggest challenge we are facing right now is the climate change. Climate change. And this climate change is happening as per the IPCC report is because of the global warming, right? Climate change is happening because of the global warming. Now, there are many substances, many gases which are responsible for the global warming. Uh, uh, CO2 is one of them, uh, methane and, and all that. There is another gas with the, with the potential more than 12,000 times of carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide equivalent. The potential of one of the substance that is HFC, hydrofluorocarbon, it's 12,000 times more than the global warming potential is 12,000 times more than I'm repeating than the carbon dioxide. So you can look at the magnitude of the challenge thrown by the HFC. Now, why HFC suddenly have uh, brought in HFC? Because when we agreed in 1987 to do away with CFC and H HCFCs, the HFC had replaced these. HFC is were being replaced by HFCs, right? So, so Montreal Protocol paved the way for HFC, the legal use of HFC in the refrigeration or the uh, fire ex extinguisher or the cleaners and all that, right? Now, the another challenge which is there in front of us is the global warming, right? Now, there is a need to do away with this HFC, right? What should be done when there is a challenge, common challenge? So, we uh, take a responsibility in the Committee of Nations. We decide that we will fight united. Now, the danger is HFC. Let's do away with it. There are two options. Number one is that the we should, we should cover, we should do away with HFC in the uh, Montreal Protocol framework only. Montreal Protocol Framework or second framework which is being discussed is the global warming uh, framework and that is climate change framework uh, that is the uh, conference of parties so uh, climate change negotiation so COP is going to be there in uh, Paris uh, this year India earlier had objected to the idea given by the developed uh, countries that HFC should be covered under Montreal Protocol. HFCs should be covered under Montreal Protocol. We should do away with uh, this under Montre Montreal Protocol. This was said by the developed countries, developed countries like USA, right? India's stand was very clear. India wanted it to uh, to negotiate under the Climate Change Treaty. India had earlier said that it, this is already listed under the Kyoto, Kyoto Protocol, right? And uh, uh, when you talk, when you bring any substance or any compound under the Montreal Protocol, it means it is going to be binding on the signatory nations. All right, signatory nation was India, so it could be, it, it would be certainly it, it it shall be binding. Whereas if it is covered under climate uh, uh, change, it would not be binding. All right, it would be voluntary, and uh, you have heard of the the differentiated responsibilities, right? 
with differentiated responsibility that is why india's stand was was uh, against hfc being covered under montreal protocol for the negotiation now india has agreed why india had agreed uh, there is no official statement as of now but the background was being uh, cleared from the g20 summit uh, g20 summit only and recently in the obama modi uh, modi talk uh, uh, this was being agreed by india that okay uh, uh, it can be the hfc can be uh, covered under the montreal protocol right it would it, it would make uh, the uh, elimination the phase out of this uh, this faster this uh, challenging uh, compound faster all right let me talk about the contribution of this case in uh, the uh, global warming as of now uh, it would be 10 to 12% of uh, total co2 gas emissions in 20 2015 right huge and by 2050 by 2050 it would reach 20% of the co2 right 20% of the co2 so this is this this, this is the another challenge uh, uh, facing uh, the world community so let's do a bit hfc india agreed with the conditions and those conditions are number one that there would be 15 years grace period 15 years grace period when i talk about the grace period it means that if the developed countries will agree to phase out this hfc substance by 2035 the developed countries will get 15 years extra it means developing countries sorry so it would be 2050 right 2050 uh, would be 15 years grace period plus second second arrangement india had asked for and uh, almost agreed upon is that that there would be the technology transfer and finance finance mechanism technology and finance money transfer mechanism right money transfer mechanism both these things are being agreed upon and uh, the question remains which substance which gas would would which gas would replace the hfc now something is needed to replace it and this would be replaced by uh, us is already doing it and the name of that substance is hydro hydrofluorolefin please remember this please remember this hydrofluorolefin remember this because possibly after 10 15 years we will come to know the side effects of hydrofluorolefin and then we will have a uh, separate treaty to uh, to deal with this hydrofluorolefin right uh, this uh, can be called hfo and an interesting fact and then i close it off uh, call it off uh, this hfo is being patented with a us company this is patented with a us company it's a patent of us company right so this this these are uh, the uh, small issues involved with this montreal protocol and uh, the global warming related to hfc, HFC. thank you very much i uh, appreciate your time effort and energy i uh, say bye bye now you can you can you know the the video url uh, please subscribe share and say thanks or criticize i'm there i'll respond if i can okay thank you bye bye